hey guys welcome to my channel you to study so in today's video I'll teach you the function of union intersection and minus so let's start by creating a table and we'll create two table in this video and I'll show you how to integrate and combine those two table into one and show the data like the function so let's create the first table person in this side in this table I'll define two attributes PID and name and the data types so just select the command and press run button so our first table is created there is an error so let's check what is the error uh, create table PID oh the spelling of work error is not right so let's change care now select the command press run button so our table is created guys this language is very sensitive so please be careful with words so we use describe command to display our table it will show the description of our table so we will insert some values into our table using insert command we can insert values into our table so my PID is 101 and the name I entered is here Asha so select the command and press run button you will see your one entity is entered into your table I forgot to type value after person Yeah. insert into person space value space value values and now select the command press run button I'll copy the commands and just paste again and again five times and after that I'll change the values to make it fast one or three one or six four one or six one or seven one or ten and one or twelve and now I'll change the names So one by one I'll select the command and just press run button. I hope guys you are getting please refer my other videos for more information about inserting and creating table. If you have any doubt, please leave any comments in below comment box. So select the command and press run button. So one by one, your row will be inserted into your table. So now we will display our database using select command select star from our table name so you can see our all database is displayed into result box so next we will create another table create table job 
so job id in this i will enter only one value so select the command and just press run button so our table is created now we will insert some values into our table wait first we will describe the table and after that we will insert values so you can see we have one attribute and data type length precision everything is there so insert values into table and values insert into job job is your table name and after that values keyword bracket and your values so j1 is your value database select the command press run button i'll copy the command and paste so that we will enter the values fast by fast and one by one we will change values inside bracket and select the command and just press run button So guys, I'll tell you about union function. The function of union is to combine the database of both tables, and it will avoid duplicated data type. It will enter the duplicated data type only one time. It will not print it two times. This is the function of union. And in the function of intersection, the only common database from both table will be printed. And in minus, whatever is common, it will be dis, uh, it will be deleted from the table, and other entities will be pasted in your table. So select PID from person. So this one. Attribute I have selected here from person table and union keyword I have used so to make union select job ID so job ID is another attribute from job ID wait I miss something oh my select keyword is not right here S C L E C T I'm sorry for this mistake just make it correct. Union select PID from person union person okay union change here select S L E C T so select again and just press run button so you will see your output here so whatever data is in your board table is represented in output box you can see j1 is only one time in your output box it is not repeated twice so the next is intersection so intersection meaning we will print the common data from both table whatever the common entities in two tables will be printed into your output into your result So I have selected PID from person and job ID from job table. You you can see only there is one entity which is common in both table. So my next command is select minus. So select PID from person minus select job ID from job. So your output will be displayed after just. After substituting the common value from both tables, whatever the entity will be left after deleting common values will be printed in your result. So, guys, I hope you can understand properly. And if you have any doubt, please leave comment in comment box. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to log out before you shut down your PC.